Hi, this is Paul Desmond. I'm at the 2014 AHR Expo here in New York City, and I'm with Dave Roden, who is the Cooling Biz Development Manager for Schneider Electric. Welcome, Dave. Uh, thank you very much, Paul. Glad to be here. All right, so uh, I wanted to ask you a couple questions about the uh, EcoBreeze system that you're showing here at the event. Can you tell me uh, what EcoBreeze is all about? Sure, absolutely, Paul. EcoBreeze, as pictured here, is a modular, indirect evaporative cooling system designed for data centers. So what it does is it will sit outside of your data center, completely replaces your chiller plant and your air conditioners inside the data center, and provides very efficient cooling for your data center. It's uh, an indirect evaporative cooler, as I mentioned, so it's got multiple modes of cool cooling that it switches between automatically. The primary means is evaporative cooling, where we're spraying a mist of water over an air-to-air -air heat exchanger. So it gives us a lot of cooling potential. In at times when it's too cold uh, for um, a water mist, it'll switch to just straight air-to-air -air cooling. And for times in which it's too hot, to get good evaporative cooling, then we will have uh, a compressorized backup. And it's all in this modular system. Economizers are a huge thing today because, uh, as you know, ASHRAE, can, ASHRAE TC 9.9 has increased the recommended ranges of temperatures for the data center, which allows a greater number of economizer hours over a greater a geographic area. Right. So, can you talk about you know what the results uh, your customers are getting in terms of how often they can use economizer mode? Yeah, absolutely. Of course, it does depend on their geographic location. But, for example, a typical data center in the northeast or the upper Midwest or virtually anywhere in Canada are going to see the potential for six, seven, even eight thousand hours worth of full economizer throughout the year. So their chiller plant will virtually never need to run uh, to cool their data center. So this is a real huge benefit in terms of their operational savings. And uh, <clears throat> you mentioned that it, it switches to economizer mode automatically. Can you talk a little about how that works? Sure, absolutely. It's constantly going to measure the air temperatures in the data center. Uh, it's going to vary fan speed based on the pressure differential, and it's also taking a look at the ambient conditions to determine what's the right mode to operate in. Uh, it's primarily going to want to operate in the evaporative cooling. So any time that the temperatures outside are above 45 degrees, it's going to be trying to spray water on the, evapor on the cooling coil in order to maximize the cooling capacity, maximize the economization, and reduce the amount of fan power that you need. Mm -hmm. um, when it drops down uh, below that temperature, it starts turning off the uh, water system to prevent issues of freezing and so forth. Uh, and then it's just operating in a straight air-to-air -air mode. When it's very humid out and the evaporative cooling is going to have, like in the middle of the summer, the evaporative cooling is going to have an issue, it will sense that it's not providing the cooling that it needs, so then the compressor backup system will also kick in to boost the total cooling capacity back to the target. Sounds good. Now, is this something that's mainly for new data centers or can these be applied to existing data centers as well? Great question, Paul. It's primarily for new large data centers, but that being said, it can be retrofitted into an appropriate existing data center. At the end of the day, we'll have to take a look at the customer's uh, site and facility and what their goals are to make a determination whether or not EcoBreeze is right for them. All right, very good. Well, Dave Roden, thanks for taking a couple minutes here at the event. Thank you, Paul.